It's always a pleasure to say good morning to you. And this morning, it's a special good morning to our friends in Paramaribo, Suriname, because we're live streaming there as well as we continue to elevate this relationship with Suriname. And we are doing it in a big way. So that's going to be something that we're going to be doing in the weeks and months ahead. And of course, helping us to do that every week, we got Senator Alfie Wiggins on the Prime Minister's special envoy to Suriname. Good morning to you. And joining us this morning, we have the ministers in Minister Humphrey, Minister Kirk Humphrey, the Honorable Kirk Humphrey, the Minister of Maritime Affairs and the Blue Economy, and also His Excellency Albert Jubitana. He's the Minister of Transport, Communications and Tourism in Suriname. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning. morning. How are you pleasure doing? Having, we're good here in uh, Bridgetown in Barbados. How is Suriname looking this morning? We're doing great. Nice weather here this morning also. So, okay. very good. Hopefully, mm -hmm. sometime soon we get to enjoy that weather as we start to travel again. And we're really talking about travel this morning to by sea as we look at making those connections for trade and uh, to get our goods and services over to Suriname and vice versa, uh, Senator Wiggins. So talk to us about building this uh, trade route because uh, we know that this could be a real bugbear and we got to get it right if it is to be economically viable for businesses here in Barbados and there in Suriname as well. Well, good morning to you, Shane, and good morning to His Excellency, Mr. Albert Jubitana. A special welcome for you on this program today. And good morning to my Thank good you. people in Suriname. It's great to have you online today. And of course, good morning to my Minister of Maritime Affairs, the Honorable Kirk Humphrey. So I'll begin today Hello. with Minister Jubitana. Um, what we want to look at today is serious transportation. While we were online doing trade between our countries with the other ministers in the previous programs, the questions that keep coming to the fore, how are we going to get our goods to Barbados from Suriname? So let's start with you, Minister Jubitana. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable. Um, uh, also uh, for this opportunity to be part of this uh, uh, discussion or this uh, live uh, uh, program uh, from Suriname on we just uh, we are for five months in office and the relationship uh, between Suriname and Barbados we need to strengthen that also uh, we are looking for to improve our connection with the with your, with your country, Barbados. So the treat uh, must be uh, more intensive and we need to <clears throat> cooperate and fulfill each other needs in terms of what do Barbados uh, need from Suriname and uh, vice versa, what, what can Barbados offer to Suriname. Uh, I think we need to go deeper into this uh, discussion because as you know uh, Suriname we can offer uh, agriculture products and but in terms of uh, maritime uh, <clears throat> uh, trade we need to improve that because every vessel or ship that will be there and coming by Suriname we it must be uh, for both countries and that's what we are looking for right now with your country and we need to discuss this uh, deeper well Thank minister you. humphrey i Hello? want you to come in here uh as we you, you are the minister of maritime affairs and the blue economy uh shipping routes mm -hmm. uh can be costly creating shipping routes and creating uh this type of linkages this type of linkage between countries how do we address that in this case? How do you see us addressing that in this case so that companies here can be confident that they can do it at a viable rate? Uh, well, first of all, good morning to all of you. Good morning to you, Shane. Good morning to Sandra. Morning. Good morning to His Excellency. And of course, a very special welcome to the new government. Uh, we look forward to working with you. And a special good morning to you, Ambassador, as well. 
Uh, first of all, it's important for us to recognize that Barbados has had relations with Suriname now for a while. We established diplomatic relations in 1977. We had a bilateral arrangement in 2005. And a lot of people may not be aware, but that every week there are goods moving between Suriname and Barbados by the sea. It is therefore a route that is established. What we need to do is to make it more viable, make it more available. Of course, we have to make it less expensive and have people understand that there is this possibility. And those are things that we are going to be working on. There are, there are areas of transport and seas that we'd agreed to work on before. There are areas in maritime and border matters that we'd agreed on to work on before. Those areas are still very relevant, but what may have changed are the intricacies related to those areas. And it is going to be important that we continue to have this dialogue. Senator Wiggins has been doing excellent work in allowing us to come to the table. Uh, I, I listened to the, the caller before you, the, the presenter before you. I think COVID has obviously changed a lot of things, but what COVID has also done in a positive way is allow us to recognize that we are still close even beyond our borders. And I think that is something that we have to exploit. Now for us in, in Barbados, the Bridgetown Port has been doing a lot of work to be able to make itself available and to become an expertise in certain areas. We want to be an expert in digitizing the port, uh, port efficiency. Those are areas we can work on with Suriname. Barbados currently imports uh, a lot of fish from Suriname. Uh, we're also taking construction material from Suriname, and construction material from Suriname. As a matter of fact, in my conversation with the Surinamese, the conversation has been, how can Barbados, because some of these ships come here with goods, but they also want those ships to return from Barbados to Suriname with Barbadian goods. And I think that's part of the conversation we need to have. Yes, Minister. So that's exactly where I would ask you that question, because what we are trying to find out exactly, what goods does Suriname need from Barbados? so that when those ships are laden with food, lumber, mm. etc., that they don't go back empty because it makes the shipping costs more expensive. Mm. So Suriname has to tell us precisely what goods that you want from us. I know we can offer you services, tourism services, financial services, etc., but you don't put those on a boat. So tell us mm. exactly what do you want from Barbados? What do you want from this relationship in terms of the shipping arrangements that we have in place? Well, that's what I told uh, you just uh, just told you. So what we need from Barbados, we need to uh, go and go into the details. What Barbados uh, especially has to offer, uh, because uh, right now you are very, uh, you are, uh, you are mainly uh, serving, you're mainly focused on the tourism, if I'm not mistaken. But in the near future, we need to know exactly what product uh, can we can we arrange from uh, from Barbados to Suriname, or what do we what do we need especially? Because if uh, we will just focus on the surfaces. Uh, we will send uh, our ships with uh, with wood and 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 food and so on. But that's why I'm just told to let us go further into the details. What Barbados has to offer, I think a, a trade mission uh, online, so that we can. Uh, can know each other better, and those uh, entrepreneurs in both countries that they can <coughs> exchange information. How yeah. how to sell new business and maybe new markets. That is what we want to do in, in, in a short uh, period of time, because uh, we are in the Caribbean, and we need to strengthen each other and how to deal with the challenges that COVID uh, <coughs> has as a result because we need uh, businesses going down, tourism is going down. So I think uh, by the fact that we want to strengthen the relation with Barbados, we need to look at other uh, countries also, islands also, 
and what, what they need also from Suriname and what Suriname also needs from, from this community, this Caribbean community. I think that we can, uh, so when we collaborate on this level and, and uh, focus on our market, our products within the region, uh, we can uh, lower the cost. And when uh, planning folks and planning uh, properly, so that in the region, maybe our ship or your ship uh, won't be strictly coming to Suriname, but doing right uh, like a route, a new uh, new shipping route to each other countries, uh, going to maybe other Caribbean uh, islands and coming to Suriname. So I think uh, that is how we look at it right now, because straightly forward uh, doing business with Barbados, uh, I think we need to look at the market we want to we want to provide with our and from there on like Guyana uh, it's a, I just I've been there last Monday and we signed an, the open sky and this is this will bring new opportunities and that's why we are looking more we're looking further and in this and this especially in this case with Barbados uh, the relationship is since 2005 just started there and since then we began to uh, collaborate and look at future plans but I think we need to execute right now and it, it's time for our Caribbean community to come together and see how we can uh, strengthen each other and what we can provide and, pro and produce Yes. Yeah, what he's speaking to there is that relationship. Yeah. What, what, what he's speaking to the, there is that relationship, that, that growing relationship that we are creating in CARICOM. But we'll take a quick pause, Senator Wiggins and Minister Humphrey and Minister Jubithana. Uh, we'll come back and talk about how Guyana fits into this mix and how maybe that Southern Caribbean nation can help to strengthen this relationship in its entirety. So we'll take a break and be right back as we elevate the relationship with Suriname here on Morning Barbados. Morning, 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 morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We're talking about developing those air and sea links with Suriname as we elevate the relationship with our brothers and sisters in Paramaribo. Of course, we have Minister Jubathana and Minister Humphrey here with us, along with Senator Alfie Wiggins. Uh, we're in a celebratory mood here on Morning Barbados. We're celebrating 19 years. And uh, last week, uh, Senator Wiggins, I don't know if you remember, uh, Tracy Shuffler gave us some news to celebrate as well. She spoke to the fact that in 2021, we got some new goods, products, and services that we want to send uh, to Paramaribo. So that's, that means that there's a need there. 
uh, I think those are by ear. So I think we need to create a way that you increase the capacity going into Suriname once you infiltrate that market in a certain way. We speak about Guyana. We heard uh, Minister Jubathana speak about Guyana just now. How does Guyana fit into the mix? Well, listen with Guyana. Oh, excuse me. Minister Humphrey, you want to go ahead? <laughs> well, for us, I mean, I think, I think before we go there, just let's understand that the role Barbados plays could be twofold. I mean, we have direct exports to Suriname of Barbadian products, but do not take for granted that Barbados also wants to position itself as a hub uh, to be able to move a transshipment hub, to be able to move goods around the region. So we can also serve a role in terms of being able to move goods to Suriname and Suriname needs goods. Uh, we could become the hub to take them into all other parts of the world as well. So that is going to be vital in our relationship going forward. The other thing is in relation to cost, it's simply because there is already traffic. What we need to do is to expand and increase the nature of that traffic. Um, there's a conversation that has to be had with Barbadian private sector individuals. There's a conversation to be had about the Caribbean private sector in general and to think more globally about the things that we are doing and for us who are thinking locally, think more regionally as well because what we're going to need is a strong and vibrant private sector and I know that Suriname has been doing some work with IDB Invest. We're also doing some work with them in order to be able to strengthen our small, medium and, and micro enterprises as well. So those are some of the things that I think are going to be important in practical terms as well. There is also the possibility right now for goods to be moved. You don't, I think people imagine themselves moving very massive amounts of goods, but uh, you can reduce your cost by having a number of individuals move smaller amounts of goods and still feel the ship right. and ensure the, the transportation cost. I think they're going to, there's a need for that kind of practical understanding. In relation to Guyana Barbados, it takes about, if you're traveling about 10 knots or so, it takes about three days, three and a half days to get to Suriname. Uh, it takes about two days at the same speed to get to Guyana. Our relationship with Guyana is obviously a lot more developed, but also Guyana could also play a very, very, very important role in, in terms of being a hub. Uh, the, Sur the Suriname has already reached out to Guyana to continue that relationship. Barbados is friends in that relationship. The reality is that Guyana will also, in the next few years, the, the rate of GDP growth for Guyana is expected to be astronomical. The rate of GDP growth in Suriname is also expected to be fairly high at about 4 or 5%. Um, so there, there are possibilities there basically because of the nature of that growth. And we are experiencing a lot more our growth in the region, in the Anglophone Caribbean, uh, in Barbados, and, and our closer neighbors is actually expected to be a lot weaker. So there is a possibility for us to also then fit, fit ourselves into that relationship because of our capacity to be hubs. And because Barbados is so specially located, being so easterly, we then are naturally <coughs> positioned to be, to be a hub in relation to Guyana and a hub in relation to Suriname. Um, I want to come in here and say two things. Um, first of all, Your Excellency, um, we are in fact planning a trade mission to Suriname. And more than likely, it will be a trade mission to Suriname and Guyana. And secondly, Great. Barbados has just signed a headquarters agreement. And this is efforts to further strengthen the CAICOM single market and economy. And this agreement was signed in Bridgetown by the with the CARICOM private sector organization which is a new regional organization that has been formed and that has been signed by our foreign minister the honorable jerome walcott so we are pressing ahead with the private sectors of the region and shortly we will be signing an mou with the suriname private sector associations there so there's a lot of groundwork that we are doing behind the scenes in bringing CARICOM together and bringing Suriname closer to Barbados. So all that work we're really working on assiduously behind the scenes. So lots of things will happen. Minister Humphrey, will there be any legislative changes that are amendments that Barbados has to do in developing these new sea routes? Thank you. I think the, for Barbados, Barbados wants to position itself as a maritime nation. It is going to be very important for us to be able to do so, but it requires that we make some legislative amendments and changes 
Uh, the truth is that we were audited in June of 2018 by the International Maritime Organization, and they found 23 areas of concern. And we're working steadfastly to address those, but it's going to be vitally important for us to be able to, first of all, put in place the legislation that protects our seafarers and other seafarers using the ship's flying under the Barbadian flag. We also want to make sure that all the issues pertaining to the environment are documented now in our legislation. And I also know Suriname is also working to do something very similar as well, and that's a natural area for us to, to correspond also, because ships now must be able to move, but they must move in a way that's environmentally friendly. And the reason I think our relationship with Suriname works is because, not only because we share the same space, but in a way we share the same values. And so our, the legislative changes that we are making now would position us to be in a position to be able to work closer with, with Suriname and achieve our, our common objectives. But these, these changes are going to be critical. And I think all the region at some point is going to have this conversation. And lastly, uh, the British Port has been working on developing a port community system. And we believe we have the expertise now in that area. We've been working on it. We think we have a package that we could also share with Suriname as Suriname attempts to expand in that region as well. So I think when we look at what we're doing here in relation to how we go forward over the next few years, we look forward to deepening our relationship. I must tell you, Senator Wiggins, as I was reflecting over the numbers, I saw that in the last three years or so, the exports to Suriname from Barbados have been relatively steady. And in 2019, there has been an increase from Barbados to Suriname. And I'm wondering if that's directly tied to the role that you've been playing. And that's so I wish to thank you on behalf of the people of Barbados. Thank you, sir. Um, I also want to say, uh, finally, because I know our time is running out, uh, we would be having our joint commission meeting this morning with Suriname. Suriname is hosting. So in uh, two hours or so, we are online again with Suriname with that yearly joint commission meeting. Well, Senator Wiggins, we'll wait for all of the details for you from you right here on Morning Barbados. His Excellency Albert Jubathana, the Minister of Transport, Communications and Tourism, we really thank you for coming and sharing with us. And we were so happy to live stream you. with your brothers and sisters down there in Suriname and in Paramaribo. And Minister Humphrey, it's always a pleasure seeing you. You mentioned some things there oh, that we you. want to have you back to talk about. <laughs> Some sure. I would gladly come back. You know this. I would gladly be back. There is a lot of information to unpack, Shane, yeah. in these programs. They're yeah. not long enough. We we can take the full two hours. There is a lot of information. <laughs> so I'm sure I'm because sure. His Excellency <laughs> Jubisiana is also the Minister of Tourism. And we haven't yeah, touched air transportation as yet. So there is so much information that we have to yeah explain and get you know get all the information on and we look yeah. forward to doing this program for the next couple of weeks where the citizens my goodly citizens of Suriname who I love so should be able to learn a lot more about Barbados and hopefully minister yeah. coming up to Christmas we are going to do a little bit something different not so formal showing Barbadians what Christmas in Suriname is all about. Oh, so yeah, I'll man. speak to your yeah. people and we'll get that sorted out. Yeah, we're going to have some fun here on Morning Barbados. But again, all of you, thanks so much as we celebrate 1920. Thank you. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next week. Again, morning, morning.